All right, it's back once again, the annual Days of Play. I'm super excited about this. You know, normally Days of Play is really kind of geared more towards new players. So it's people who have not yet really entered into the Sony universe. But I think this year they've kind of extended past that a little bit by offering some pretty good deals for uh, existing members. I also think the timing is pretty great. I mean, Days of Play always does come around the holiday. Usually around this time, we would be getting ready for E3. We'd be getting ready for the big press conference and the big news of what's going to happen next. Uh, We don't have that yet. Obviously, the world's changed post-COVID as E3 has dissolved. We don't really know what's next. We haven't yet gotten a state of play or any sort of announcement from Sony saying, hey, join us for our big presentation on day X. What Sony is competing against is an absolutely imploding Microsoft. And I know that Microsoft has their big keynote coming up here very, very soon. This is definitely, in my opinion, timed at a great time if you are a Sony fan because Microsoft keeps stepping on rakes. And I think a lot of people are probably kind of done with that brand for a while. So we'll see how this all works out. We'll see if it continues to push Sony's dominance in the market or if um, you know if it really moves the needle. We don't know quite yet. But uh, PlayStation Blog went live today with the all the exciting news of Days of Play. There's actually quite a bit here. Um, we're going to go through it uh, together in the next 10 minutes or so, catch you guys up on what you need to know. First and foremost, uh, they're adding some new avatars for your profile. I have maintained for a very long time, I think the avatar system is definitely, definitely underused, underutilized. Um, I'm still using that big pig avatar way back from PS3 days. There's so many good games and so many fun icons and graphics and unlockables and things they could do with avatars. Um, you know, maybe the introduction of a theme, which never made its way over to the PlayStation 5 user interface. But they're giving away some avatars. Okay, that's cool. You're going to get some, um, you know, some familiar faces, definitely. And then uh, always, you know, with that, the PlayStation uh, Plus logo on the back, because this is all kind of geared towards that, again, in my opinion, uh, kind of a direct combat towards the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, they announced today the new games for June. PlayStation um, Plus games. We're going to get um, SpongeBob's um, Cosmic Shake, AEW Fight Forever, and Streets of Rage 4. I'm really excited for Streets of Rage 4. I already played it on Game Pass, beat it, deleted it, but I'd like to play it again. I'd like to get some trophy hunting. It's a really fun beat em up. Um, I just played through it once. I think it took me like an hour and a half. I've watched a lot of speed runs on it and. It's just a fun game, so I'm excited for that. Um, They are still giving away the free game right now, this FC24, which was a bonus game from last month. There's still a little bit of time left to collect that if you haven't done so already. They're giving away an exclusive Roblox Roblox pack um, with um, this Yeti in a fridge. I don't play that game, but cool. Um, they're also adding a lot of games to their PlayStation Plus Premium uh, catalog, which is cool. We're starting to see VR games, which I don't recall previously. I might even say in the blog here. Um, I feel like we didn't get PlayStation 2 VR games before. Maybe we did. I don't recall, but they're starting to add some of those. They're also adding some PlayStation 2 classics, not many, just three, just Tomb Raider, Clone Wars, and Sly Cooper. I hope the Sly Cooper reveal is kind of like a shadow announcement that we are, in fact, getting a new Sly Cooper announcement. Um, These guys are working on something. I don't know if it's Sly Cooper, but that's exciting. Um, They're also adding in some additional games, some um, ones you probably have recognized or seen before. I don't know if this is going to really move the needle. Dredge is something I'm interested in personally. Um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, I played the first one. I really enjoyed it. Cricket, I have no desire to play that. And then GTA San Andreas, the definitive edition, which I really like that game quite a bit. They're also giving away a game trial of WWE 2K24. So... 
lots of news in terms of like the existing subscription service, a great way to kind of hype up that they have an subscription service with different tiers, jump in. There's a lot of different games, you know, the instant catalog sort of thing. They're also doing a community challenge um, by participating in a PlayStation Stars campaign, um, which I'm not a big fan of PlayStation Stars. It never really took off the way I wanted it to personally. Um, they're also doing a tournament for the game that they just gave away for free. So you can go check that out, that tournament, and get involved in that. Um, that one will actually um, have prizes, though. Uh, winners will receive a one-month PlayStation Plus premium voucher code um, and an invite to join playoffs. And then at the top 16, we'll get uh, cash and prizes. That's kind of cool, I think. Um, they're giving away DualSense Edge Controller, a Pulse headset, a PlayStation Portal remote player, um, and you have a chance to win a trip to the um, soccer game finals in Munich. That would be really cool if you're a soccer fan. Um, so that's exciting as well. Um, if you plan to be in the UK, join us for this uh, league in London, and then they're going to have a PlayStation experience, including a giant PlayStation pinball and claw machine with a chance to win a bunch of prizes. So all fun, just because of the tournament. It's a free game. Might as well try it. Maybe you're good at it. Maybe you'll win. You never know. Um, but as I was saying at the beginning of this video, State of Play has or Days of Play has kind of always been geared towards new players. Right now, if you buy through the official store, they're going to give you 50 bucks off the price of a console. And um, if you go ahead and scoop up PlayStation Plus as well, they're going to give you 12 months of Netflix premium extra. Uh, so that's cool. Um, they do have some discounts on existing games, $20 off existing games, which you can see listed there. Additionally, um, they're going to drop the price on PlayStation covers and off that really sweet Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. I did an unboxing of that on my channel. It's a giant statue with Miles and Peter fighting against Venom. Still haven't played the game, but I do love the Collector Edition. $80 off isn't bad. I think it was like $180 collector edition. So that's pretty good deal. Additionally, um, they're giving 15% off if you pick up some of the movies through PlayStation Plus, which is great. 20% off the PlayStation Gear Store. So anything you see on the merchandise, like there's a really cool Helldiver shirt that I've been wanting for a while. They got Helldiver stuff, Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon West, uh, God of War, PlayStation Brand and Gear More. So 20% off isn't a bad discount there either. Uh, they're going to have a massive store on the PlayStation Plus uh, side of things. So actually go on the digital store. Um, they have a full list of the games, which will open up here in a second. And then there was one other thing on a discount. I must have blown past it. Here it is. Uh, if you already have PlayStation Plus and you want to upgrade to that higher price point, either in the extra or the premium, they're going to give you a discount to do that as well. I'm definitely going to bite on that. I've been I've been really toying PlayStation Plus Premium for a while. Went over to my buddy Sid's house. He has it. Playing some of these old PlayStation games, streaming them, having fun with them. I feel like I got a bite on that. So 30% off the remainder for me. I want to say it's like 50 bucks or something. So 30, less 30%. Pretty decent discount. So whether you're new or old to PlayStation, I think you're going to find some really cool things. While we're actually opening that tab. Let me look at the store here real quick. Let's go there first and see if they have anything cool in the store. So anything you see here, 20% off. Um, hoodies, hats, statues, posters, um, some of the different franchises they're currently offering. Helldivers, uh, Astrobot, Last of Us, Uncharted, God of War, uh, PlayStation branded, Demon Souls. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here to dig into. They have a lot of different little collectibles, like little plushie sets, a uh, nice cup of Liberty. Um, that's pretty cool. That's the one I was looking at right here, this Orbital Precision Strike t-shirt with the infamous right, right up to get yourself a sweet orbital strike. That is a really, really cool shirt. So everything you see here, again, less 20%. That's kind of nice. Um, I believe, I don't remember if they said here, I think shipping is free right now. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. Um, so, yep, a lot of merchandise there. And then the digital side of things, this list coming out. Uh, it'll go live tomorrow. I'm sure you're going to see a slam of tweets from Wario and other uh, deal hunters telling you which of these games to pick up. But pretty extensive list of some really, really good games that may have been in your backlog for a while. Might be a good time to bite on some of them that, you know, you didn't get a chance to play before or ones that, you know, kind of looked appealing to you, but you know, you just, you have too much on your hands. So if you can get a good deal on some of these games, 
I would definitely bite on them because to me, I think a lot of them are really, really a lot of fun. Um, it is funny though, to see that like you have a lot of these that are like already included with game pass that they're selling them on sale, which I find humorous. Um, but you know, I, I think a lot of people are probably starting to kind of realize that, you know, maybe it's time to come back. <laughs> maybe Xbox isn't what we thought it would be. And maybe they really just don't know what they're doing. And I think a great time, I think you could spend some money here pretty quickly uh, and get a pretty good set of, you know, the service and a console, a spare controller, um, and really just kind of jump into the service right away. And I, I think that's really, really cool. Um, but you know, it's going to depend on how great these sales are. A lot of times they list these games on sale and they're just not quite like a great deal. So it's hard to say. That's why I said, check in again tomorrow, like for some of the deal, deal breakers to see if like there's anything crazy that we overlooked because I feel like there's some games in there that are definite sleeper hits that you might find you are interested in. So if you're not a fan of Sony, maybe this is what's going to win you over. This has always been a great celebration of Sony products and Sony games. And I think it's a good time to uh, look into this. So yeah, I mean, I'm not even done scrolling through them, but there's still a lot. But everything's listed in the PlayStation blog. I'll post a link to it in the description box below. Uh, while you're down there, consider subscribing to the channel because it helps a lot. That's it for today's video, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.